Hey guys, so I'm switching it up just a little bit. Um, instead of filming during my lunch hour, I'm filming after work because I decided to go to Whole Foods during lunch. Um, well, I ate lunch, like I always bring my lunch. Well, except for Fridays. But um, I went to Whole Foods because, let me find it. I should have had this prepared already. Um. Okay, so I went to Whole Foods because um, I'm very particular about scents and um, one, like, I really like to have like a signature scent and if you know me in real life then you have probably smelt this at some point on me. It's kind of weird sounding, but anyways, this is like my, I guess, signature scent. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's Persian Garden. I'm filming on my phone, so I don't know if it's switched, but that's what this like fragrance oil is called. So if you've ever been curious about what I smell like, that's what I smell like. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to talk about um, something that I have always thought about when I was younger, um, particularly in high school. This is when I really thought about this kind of, I don't know if I want to call it a concept, um, but it has to do with love. And that is, so what I kind of thought about when I was younger was the idea of having like a string an invisible string attached to you and whoever you're supposed to be with. And I know that there's many people um, that you could work well with. I have said this so many times, but I've had unrequited love with two guys in the past. And not saying that they would have wanted to be with me, but I think you can fall for different people and I think I also believe in the right there's such thing as like the right person at the wrong time or the wrong person at the right time but I guess with this invisible string I'm thinking of the right person at the right time so it's when I was younger I used to imagine like I remember just like walking up to school thinking about this that there was an invisible string um, kind of hooked like on my heart connecting that other person and I always wondered like I wonder if my future husband is thinking about me right now I wonder if all of that kind of like super cheesy romantic stuff um, that was me and that's what I used to think about and I know like a lot of my videos lately have been about love and relationships but that's something I'm very interested in and I don't know I be I've said this before but I do believe in love and I think that there is someone out there for me um, hopefully hopefully I am with that person sooner than later because I've said this also I don't really care for being single I don't really care for dating like dating multiple people that's never been my thing when I like someone I like only one person um, and I like I typically like someone for a very long time and unfortunately I've never been in a relationship with someone um, that I truly feel like I loved um, completely, but I really want that to change. And I appreciate the comments that I've gotten. I haven't responded to all of the comments, but um, I think there's a lot of people that can relate to this. A lot of people are searching for love and I know I'll probably get some maybe some backlash on this and like, I'm like you need to stop thinking about love. You need to stop like searching for someone or something like that but I I don't know I like if I was to marry 
someone that I truly loved and they truly loved me, that would be a huge accomplishment for me specifically. Um, I would feel very fulfilled um, by that. And some people, again, may say, oh, why would you feel fulfilled? Like you should be happy being by yourself. And I am happy being by myself, but I wanna be able to share experiences with people, with, I mean, another person. Um, I wanna travel the world with whoever I end up marrying. I want to build a family and, and be that person for that person. I wanna know that the guy that I end up marrying, I wanna know him as fully as I can. And I know you can't possibly completely know someone. And I want them to know me as well. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea um, from these videos. I don't want people to think that I'm in desperation to find someone. Um, even though I do appreciate the comments that people leave or messages that people leave, I guess, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but if you're also on this journey of being in the in-between where you don't, you're not dating someone, you're not certain about things, I hope that you realize that there is a lot of things to look forward to and things can change so easily. And I also think you should, if you want to be with someone, um, you should make it happen or try to make it happen um, and vice versa. I've said this before, but if someone really wants to be with you, they're going to make it happen no matter what. And so it's the same thing for me. like. I don't care what I have to do. Well, I do care. I wouldn't murder someone or do something crazy. But I would basically do anything to be with someone um, that I truly loved. And I think when you're willing to do that, that's when you know you love someone um, or that you truly like someone. But yeah. Um, another sappy I guess video for me about love and my journey with love and who knows what's going to happen within a year from now maybe I'll be dating someone long term or maybe I'll still be single who knows it'll be interesting to look on look back on this video because Again, things can happen very quickly, and again, if you, I feel like, <laughs> sorry, I feel like this is so stupid, because I say it, I've said it a few times, but if you're my future husband, um, and you're watching this, I love you, and I've said that before, but I really hope that I don't know. Sorry for the ambiguity in this video and sorry for the shaky phone because you're sitting on, this is sitting on the steering wheel. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I try to, I try to reply as soon as possible. Um, for example, when I get home, I'm gonna reply to a bunch of comments because I do work full time. Um, but I don't want to make excuses about things and I want to keep on posting even though I feel like I could post higher quality videos. I mean, I think the video, I'm not saying that the content is necessarily low quality, but the video quality could be better. And I'm just thinking about all of the things I want to do in the future, especially when I am settled into our new place, um, whenever that's going to be, who knows, 
but um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments below. And if you aren't already subscribed, um, I would really appreciate it um, if you subscribed and liked this video. And again, sorry for the shaky video, for, sorry for this shaky camera and this video quality, but again, just bear with me. In a few months time, there's gonna be some great videos and maybe I shouldn't promise that, but I am, so.